Now, you want to go over there, Chris? Yes, ma'am. And show me your version of the events? Um, well, I was right here, and the cones started blocking off the, the two left lanes. What? The, bar the barricade started yes. blocking off two left lanes. So he was behind me, and his 18-wheel was right by me. And he was rushing me off the road, too, so I had nowhere to go. So I basically... I Why hit, didn't I hit you the, move into the right lane? I had my signal light on, Just, but he was rushing me. He was rushing what me What does that mean, the, he was rushing you? He was, like, rushing me into the, to the barricades. Like, he didn't let me go through the other lane. He didn't let you in? Yes, ma'am. He didn't let you in? Yes, ma'am. What setback? Mr. Wiggins, what kind of, what time of the day was this, sir? This was uh, like 5, 12 in the morning. Where were you going to? To, to work? work. And where were you going, sir? To work. Okay, what time are you due at work? Six, six in the morning. Six in the morning. Do you take the same road every day? No. Was this the first time you were on this road? Uh, maybe my 10th time, my 10th time, yeah. Do you remember the date? I have that written down. Okay, must be in the police report. May I see the police report? Yes, ma'am, you sure can. Mr. Wiggins, how much ahead of the barricade barrels was there a sign to get over? Probably a good half mile. That would seem reasonable. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you get over? I did not go that long way. I, was, I went through a loop, and it started just, those cones just started showing up as I was no. driving. No, then, then the state would be responsible. <laughs> and I don't think that that's true, because if they had barrels up there and they were blocking the left lane, they always have a sign well in advance, lane closed, get over. Yes, ma'am. So my question to you is, and I can understand, you know, some people wait until the last second and they expect somebody to let them in. Was there traffic that morning? No. Any traffic? Yes, ma'am. There's always traffic. I've been driving that road for 29 years. There's always traffic. I mean, traffic. when I say traffic, were there a lot of cars? It's the di diagram does justice to the traffic that was there and there was more cars other than that, but that was pretty much how the traffic looked. Okay, and you got over how much before I moved over when I saw that the, it was a closure. Was that the first day that it was closed? It was the first day that I noticed it was closed, yes. Well, you said you've been traveling the same road for 29 years. Right, but I don't work every day of the week, so that was the first day that I noticed that it was closed. Okay, may I see pictures of your car, please? Yes, ma'am. And there's also pictures of his vehicle with the 55-gallon uh, drum stuck underneath it. Okay, what kind of car were you driving, sir? 2012 Toyota Camry. And do you have an uh, estimate to fix the damage? Yes, ma'am. Did you go through his insurance? I tried to go through the insurance. I have a letter here stating that uh, Mr. Garcia is explicitly denied coverage on that vehicle. May I see it? It's from the insurance company. Well, Miss Ayala, you specifically excluded your son from the policy when you put the car in your name. So you said he would not be driving it. Actually, whenever I had called the insurance company, they were supposed to have had him no, on no. there, and no, there was a show mistake. Me. Show me. Show I me. I don't have show it. Show me. Okay. You specifically excluded him from the policy and said he would not be driving the car, which is why they gave you a lower rate. That's outrageous. Is he still driving the car to work? Yes, of course. Yeah. That's a big problem for you. I have an estimate for $1,265. Yes, ma'am. Is that the damage? Yes, ma'am. Why are you suing him for $5,000? There's five days of rental car involved in getting the car repaired. I have do you, that. Do you have a bill for that? Did you have the I car have repair? A, I printed up a estimate for that. I have not had the car repaired. What does your wife do? She's retired. She used to be a school teacher. Does she have her own car? Yes, she does. Oh, and she's retired. She'll drive you to work. Okay. $1,265. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're Phil, done. Thank you. Ma'am? What? Could I add anything? About what? About the diminished value to the vehicle? No. 